I know why you're here. You've probably run out of this disk space. So, this video I will show you how to to solve this problem that you're running out of disk space. Uh, actually, this is uh, this this cause there the the cause of this error may be due to uh, your drive C is full. The default the default program where your Android Studio is is full. So uh, if you have another drive like if you have another partition like drive D, and you can you can transfer your ADB folder to the drive D. This is how you solve your this is how you so, you solve your disk space error without buying a new uh, without buying a new disk now if you have another disk you can transfer the AVD now how do we do that go to environment and e a and b environment variables now on your environment variables uh, don't don't modify the path just uh, create a new create a new variable now it's important to name this variable Android home SDK Android SDK home now variable value this is would be the location where you want to save uh, you can make it you can create a new folder on your drive D and you can uh, paste the path here now in my case it's I just named it the same I just named it as simple as this D under this DK home so that it would be easy to locate uh, be sure that you have this folder created on your drive D now in my in my case I have created this already in my drive D drive D here now once you have created that you click OK and it's added. O click OK and click OK. Now once it's added, you open your Android Studio. Android Studio. Now when you open that, you need to copy the ADV folder. Now where can you find the ADV folder? In my case, the default location is on drive C so you, you go to drive C go to the user uh, this is my user and go to that Android uh, sometimes you don't see this that Android because it, this one is hidden so you need to go to view option change folder and show hidden folder now once you have shown the hidden folder this will appear now you double click this and copy this folder copy now after that just go to your now once your Android Studio is open just wait for your Android Studio to load up and when it's finished loading up and come on come on it may take a few time well, I don't need to wait for this one because uh, I already have done it before. So, once this is open, you go to your drive D. You go to the folder. And in this folder, you this you don't need to create this folder. When you open your Android Studio, this folder will be created, that Android. Uh, because the Android Studio had located the, the new environment variables that you have created. So, he put he created this folder on that path that you have made now double click this one and you need to paste the ADB folder from from your you need to paste the ADB folder the one that you copied from the user and paste it here now in my case I already paste it here so here are my API my ADV emulator now that's how you copy that's how you copy uh, that's how you transfer the ADB 
folder to another drive yeah you have to do this sometimes because adv eats a lot of space so that's why you need to transfer it to drive d or any drive that that you like because uh, we don't want our drive c to be occupied as much as possible so we need to put it somewhere else so i put it in the drive d now now that's it that's how you solve your not enough disk space now once you have done that you will encounter another problem what problem would that be it would be that the you will not be able to open your emulator why because it was created on the default folder now what you need to do is you need to go back to tools adv manager and remove all this and create a new virtual drive now when you do this it will create uh, a uh, emulator to your new but here this way you need to delete this because this will not work this is different configuration uh, because you have created it before you transferred it so you need to delete this one oh and you need to create again so that you will have a new emulator for your new path and once you've done that you will you will be able to run your emulator without any problem that's it